Hi, I'm Naman Hashim, I'm CEO of Lemur Imaging. We're here today to show you a demo of our novel compression algorithm, which we believe outperforms standard quantization. So what we have here is a laptop running ResNet 50. We have an image here. You can see that the ground truth is J and the FP32 is saying it's a J and it gives you a confidence level. You can see that Intate, which most people are using today, also says it's a J and gives you the associated uh, confidence level. Int4, on the other hand, completely gets it wrong. It just says it's a window screen, confidence level is very, very low, it's just almost useless. LMR4, on the other hand, which is a four-bit data now, is giving you the same confidence level, in fact, it's better in this case than FP32. It says it's a J, and you can see the confidence level there. We've also plotted the activation maps here. That's FP32, that's LMR4. You can see that the activation maps are very, very similar, even though we now have 4-bit data versus 32-bit data. On the other hand, the INT4 data, which is down here, is very sparse, which also leads to the fact that INT4 is unusable in this case. So uh, the bottom line is we believe that compression down to 4 bits using a very low ultra compact compression core will give you the same level of performance as Intate and FP32, but with half the power, half the bandwidth, and much lower silicon size. And what I'll do now is I'll just run through the, I'll sort of let the demo run through now, and you can see that with all these images, LMR4 is giving you the same level of detections as FP32. So the value of this is now you can start using 4-bit data within your computer vision subsystem, which allows you to save both memory bandwidth and also system power which we think is going to be quite compelling for edge AI use cases. To understand more about what we have, please go to our website, lemaimaging.com, and uh, fill in the contact details and we'll get back to you, or drop me an email at noman at lemaimaging.com.